Welcome back to Grizz Vision here. I know you Grizzlies.com. My name is Neil Rule. We're here with Coach Campy at Gonzaga for practice here. Game tomorrow against the Gonzaga Bulldogs. And Coach, uh, a formidable task at hand tomorrow. Well, first let's talk about the arena because I raved about uh, Cal's arena. And I will tell you that, you know, what I said the other night, I really meant. And that was so cool to play in that place. And all the history of college basketball that was in that place, um, pretty cool. But right now I'm standing on the Bulldog, you know, it says Gonzaga. And I got kind of yelled at already because during a radio interview, I was talking to somebody from Gonzaga and uh, they said, yeah, you're going to get in trouble out here if you pronounce it Gonzaga because I said, well, I think Gonzaga's a very good team. And then stop me immediately, it's Gonzaga. Uh, so. Let's make sure we do that right on the on the radio tomorrow night. All right, we'll know. do that. Oh, am I supposed to say something about the game? You said something about the arena, right? Oh, yeah, well, it's pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> Fairly new, pretty nice. Um, it's a little bit smaller than we've seen in some of the places we've been. Roof's a little lower, but that low roof is what makes it so loud. And it's kind of like the arena when the arena's hopping. We've got the low roof and... You know, the noise banging around everywhere, well, they do here. Uh, the only difference is there's probably 10,000 seats in here instead of four. One of the big stats that comes out of this game tomorrow, this team is 122-8 and eight in this building. Your thoughts? Well, it's obvious that uh, they're pretty hard to beat in here. But, you know, last year we went into Pittsburgh, and they were 96-2 and two non-league in that building. And they had a 13-point lead with eight minutes to go, six with 50 seconds to go, and... We lost in overtime, so, you know, we can't sit here and say, well, just because they have this unbelievable record, we can't get it done. Um, they're really good. They may be, of, of these four giants that we've tried to slay here at the beginning of the season, they may be the best one. On film, they appear to be. Um, once we play the game, I might have a, a better answer for you on that. Coach, wrapping up did practice I, today. Did I say that yesterday, too, on the post game of the game from yesterday? Maybe I said it on the radio. I, yeah. I talk so much, I have no idea what I say anymore. <laughs> Coach, wrapping up practice I mean, I'm here asked tonight. I questions so much. Right, I'm there you go. Sure. Okay. Wrapping up practice here tonight, what was the biggest thing you took out of practice time? Well, it was kind of a learning practice. You know, we, we played a, a lot of guys played a lot of minutes last night, so we didn't want to, and then we traveled two and a half hours and all that. So we didn't want to do a lot. We wanted to just get up and down the floor, you know, get the, get the sweat going, get the run, get the kinks from sitting in an airplane. Uh, you know, when you're 6'10 and 6'8 and you sit in an air, uh, a coach seat in an airplane, you get for that long, you get kind of bound up. So we wanted to get out here and run a little bit. And then we did a lot of talking and teaching on mistakes we made last night and how we can get better on uh, defensively. Our oh, coach, no, no, yeah. we never practiced defense. That, I didn't mean that. We, <laughs> we never practiced defense. All we did tonight was shoot, you know, fire up shots. That's all you do, three-pointers at yeah, that, right? That's all we do. As we fired up shots tonight. <laughs> All right, Coach, we'll catch back up with you tomorrow after the game. And fans, remember, you can catch all the action on Oakland's flagship station, 1130 AM WDFN. Thanks with a lot for Neil time, Rule doing the call. Neil Rule doing the call. Thank you very much, Coach. Good night. Bye-bye.